this is the new Rode Wireless Go Gen 3. This comes in at around 279 and I'm really excited to try this out because these now include a lot of the features of the Rode Wireless Pros. In addition to that, I have the new Rode Charge Case Plus. This is going to be great to put your transmitters and receiver into the charging case and then you can use that to get two full charges. But not only that, this also allows you to transfer all of the data and the audio recordings from your transmitters directly onto your laptop or your computer via the USB-C cable. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the design of each of these, run through the key specs and features, and then we'll test out the audio recording. Okay, so these are all of the main accessories that you do get in the box. With the Rode Wireless Go Gen 3, you get this carry pouch for all of your cables and little accessories here that I'm just going to show you. So you have the three wind muffs for each of the transmitters and the receiver. Now we have a TRRS cable that we can connect this to your camera or even to your laptop. It also comes with a USB-C to Type-C and a USB-C to Lightning. So this basically allows you to cover all of the different phones that you may want to connect this to. So not only with your DSLR or mirrorless cameras. So this is going to be great connectivity for both Android phones and iPhones. So this is a USB-C charging hub that comes in the box as well. So you can put your transmitters and receiver all along here. Then you connect a USB-C cable just to the end there, put it into your laptop or into a plug socket, and then just charge them using this tiny little hub. It's flexible, it's quite nice, it's a good little addition just so you don't have to find three cables separately to charge them all up. This is actually great if you don't have the charging case, but because I do have this charging case, I no longer need to use that hub. You can see it has a little power button back there with the charging port there. And you can see it's labeled there for your transmitters and your receiver to insert into here. And then you can also use this to connect the USB-C to the USB-C cable via the back port here to transfer the audio recordings directly from your transmitters with the onboard recording to your computer. So this is the receiver. As you can see, it's got the volume gain levels just there on the front and center. It has plenty of options to change like the gain and go through the recordings. You also have the buttons along the bottom here for the mono and stereo switch, then also the channel and the link buttons, volume gain button just there. You have a nice little clip at the back there and then you have your power button just there at the top and likewise for the transmitter you have your power button there with the led indicator just next to it you have a blue led indicator light there to let you know it is paired recording indicator light there so when you do start the recording with the button above that this will turn on to red but the lavalier ports now also have locking lavalier so you can see there is raised a little bit so you can screw in a very high quality lavalier microphone to make sure to give you a peace of mind that it's not going to interrupt with your connections if it does maybe pull out a little bit but i think that's really great and very important to have as well to make sure you do have all of your recordings in place and then you just have the usb-c charging port just there on the left hand side so overall design wise i would say it's very similar to the rode wireless pros and of course it's slightly different to the original rode wireless ghost which i have also reviewed but what I also wanted to mention is with the features, this essentially you can consider this as basically almost the same as the Rode Wireless Pros minus the time code capabilities and of course the fact that this doesn't have any lavalier microphones that come in the box. But the Rode Wireless Go Gen 3 also now comes in a wide variety of really cool and unique colors. So if you really wanted to match that with your creativity style or if you just want something different than the traditional black or white microphones that you see online and everywhere, then you also have that option now with the Go Gen 3 models. And also just make sure to remember to hit the links in the description to find out all of the key specs, the latest pricing information for the Rode Wireless Go Gen 3 and for the Charge Case Plus. So now let's go ahead and test these out because I know that's what everyone wants to see. It has pro quality, it has the intelligent gain assist in there and the fact that each transmitter has 40 hours of 32-bit float onboard recording and I've always been a huge fan of onboard recording for wireless microphones just because two things. If it's recording directly into my camera then that's great, everything is synced but if for any reason maybe the battery dies on my receiver or the connection gets lost or I lose line of sight and the audio is interrupted, then it's such a hassle and pain in post editing to try and get the audio to be in somewhat a manageable state. But now if I have the backup recording turned on every time I am recording into my camera, then it gives me that peace of mind that when I do transfer it, I can ensure myself that I've got the latest and top quality audio regardless of what's happened with my receiver. And if I just want to do 
maybe some general b-roll footage here and there around the house i can just grab one of the transmitters turn on the recording and just record it like a specifically an audio recorder and transfer that via usb so for me that's absolutely great so now let's go ahead and it connects the receiver to my sony a7c with the cable that comes in the box test out the high quality audio in both indoors and I'll also step outdoors to see how the gain assist kicks in as well when I stand closer to traffic maybe and how loud it can get and how you can still hear my audible audio very clearly. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so this is the audio coming directly from the Rode Wireless Go Gen 3. I've set the gain levels on my receiver to zero decibels, but you can go all the way down to minus 30 decibels. That's depending on the situation and the environment that you're in. I'm gonna go ahead and clip this to my jumper as well rather than just holding it in front of my mouse. And there we go. The audio quality is so clear. I'm super happy with this. If I am outdoors and I know I may lose line of sight, then I'm always going to make sure that the backup recording is turned on. So all I need to do is just press the button once and the red light on this will come on. So let me just do that now. And there we go. You can see the red light there. And when I do transfer this over via the USB-C cable to my MacBook Pro, then that audio recording will just be taken directly from this transmitter itself. But I think that's a really useful feature to have. And speaking of doing filming outdoors and maybe losing line of sight a little bit, we are going to test the audio outdoors because I know it sounds absolutely great. This is no wonder why the Rode Wireless Go's are actually the world's most popular wireless microphones. If you see a lot of content creators online when they're doing filming on locations, on outdoors, they are most likely going to be using these Rode wireless mics. So let's go ahead and head outside and see how it, the intelligent gain assist also works with the changing noises of the environment around me, where I get closer to the traffic, to the roads, if the wind is a little bit strong, how that actually comes out. And we'll go ahead and see what you think. Okay, so I'm outdoors now and I've got the wind muff on this as well, just to give you that clarity in the audio recording, especially if you do film this outdoors in noisy environments. There's not a lot of noise currently here, but I'm going to step onto the other side of the gate where there's a busy road and hopefully the intelligent gain assist kicks in as well. So you can really hear the clarity and the sharpness in my dialogue. And I think this is going to be, you know, as all of the previous models, again, a very popular choice for people that do filming outdoors, especially if you are in large film scale productions, then this is going to be the go-to microphone to get the best audio pro level stuff. Let's go ahead and take it that Lex level further. All right, so I'm standing probably around 20 meters away from the camera right now, just behind the gates. You can probably see some cars going past. It's quite loud and it is busy, especially when I am standing this close to the road as well. And I just wanna see if you guys can still hear me quite clearly because in some situations when there's just a lot of loud cars behind me, I can just about hear what I'm saying but if you can still hear everything clearly from me speaking directly into the microphone, then the gain assist technology in this is absolutely great. It's drowning out a lot of the background noise. So you wouldn't have to worry about the types of environments you're in because you can just have that comfortability and confidence knowing that Rode and their technology built into the Rode Wireless Go Gen 3s is going to still give you the most amazing quality for your filming and your production. So when you go into editing, you would probably not have to do any changes whatsoever. So I'm going to be uploading my audio into my video on this YouTube channel, and I'm not going to make any changes to the audio. So let's go ahead and head back inside and see what you guys think. So that's it everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed that review and you heard how great these sound, how much features are packed into this. This is essentially now the brand new Pros, but at a cheaper price. I think it's an amazing deal, so make sure to check out all of the links in the description below. 279, 89, make sure to check out any discounts or any offers they run from time to time. As always, if you do have any questions about the Rode Wireless Go Gen 3s, drop them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you all at the next one. Take care.